People say stay away from mirrors, and that's true. You could walk away from a mirror. I was haunted by my shadow. Hi, I'm Ryan O'Flanagan, and this is the time that my own shadow ruined a perfectly good day in the park with my friends. So a couple of years ago, I went up to San Francisco with two of my friends, Jack and Ahmed, and we went up to do a comedy festival. And we decided that during the daytime, before the festival, we would do mushrooms and go to Golden Gate Park. And the day starts off great. We're coming up on mushrooms and I needed sunglasses. I forgot my sunglasses, so we had to go to Target. And that was the first time I noticed that everything was starting to look really big. My scale was way off. I walked into Target and I was like, oh, God, this is, this is the airport. We're lost. I couldn't find the guys, so I took out my phone at one point, and I remember being like, oh, no, I stole someone's iPad. And I get my sunglasses, and we get to Golden Gate Park. The trees were huge, people were huge. I feel like I was in like Jurassic Park or something. And we sit down on this bench, and we're staring at these three huge trees. We're like, yeah, Jack's, Jack's that tree, because that tree's kind of leaning. And Jack's like always drunk. That tree's Ahmed because it's set back a little bit. It's a little shy and more quiet and more sensitive. And I'm that tree because that's the last tree he left. And I'm wondering if the trees are having the same conversation. Yeah, you know, Chuck, you're probably that blonde one because he looks drunk and you're always leaning. We got out of there and that's when the day took a turn because I looked down at my shadow and my hair in my shadow was cartoonishly huge. And I was just watching my stupid looking hair being like, you are Ryan, you're so stupid looking. You're a ridiculous looking person. And I started just hating myself. It's tough to see yourself when you're on mushrooms. People say stay away from mirrors, and that's true. You can walk away from a mirror. I was haunted by my shadow. There's something extra creepy about being haunted by your own shadow, because it's kind of you. It's kind of like your own thoughts inside you being like, you know, you know how stupid looking you are. And eventually I had to stop and I had to say, the guys were like laughing and talking amongst themselves. And I turned to them and I was like, guys, I need to get a hat. And they were like, a hat? We need to leave the park because I need a hat now. And we go out onto, back into regular San Francisco, back onto the city street. It's just really loud and gross. And I feel so bad. I feel so guilty. So we walked into the first business we came across. And I say to the, the guy behind the counter, I said, hey, do you guys have any hats? No, this is a bike store. Fair enough. <laughs> so we leave the bike store. So I just say to the guys, I'm sorry. Let's just go back to the park. Forget about Forget about this. And I remember Ahmed being so nice. Hey man, we'll find you a hat. And then we come across this science center. And I was like, guys, we gotta go into the science center. I was hoping they would have just like a gift shop. We could walk in, go to the gift shop and get like a $40 science center hat. Anything to cover my ugly head. And so we walk into the science center and there's like multiple field trips happening at once. And these kids are like looking at us. Everything all day was so huge. And then these kids were like the tiniest thing I saw all day. I felt huge and old. I felt like a d dinosaur. I was like, we gotta get out of here, guys. So we leave the side, no hat again, leave the science center, and I'm sad I don't have a hat still. And then I start thinking about dinosaurs and how we're all kind of just dinosaurs in our own way. And I remember looking at Ahmed, seeing his essence and my own. I remember kind of seeing who we really were as dinosaurs. And I was like, hey man, you know what we are? I think I, I figured us out. I am like a red T-Rex. I'm in charge. I'm larger than life, calling the shots. I'm making us get a hat. And you, you're, you're a blue triceratops. You're sturdy, fierce when you need to be, but at your core, an herbivore. And that's our kind of dynamic, best friend dinosaurs. And he was like, what's Jack? And I was like, Jack's just Jack. Jack doesn't have a dinosaur equivalent. He's such a unique person. He doesn't have his own dinosaur. So we get back to the hotel and we do the show that night and very few people came and we all bombed. But for my 30th birthday, Ahmed drew me this picture. There I am as a red T-Rex and I finally got my hat and my cool sunglasses and my ugly curly hair. And there's Ahmed, a blue triceratops. And then Jack is just Jack, just smoking a cigarette on top of a mushroom. It's one of the nicest gifts I've ever gotten. So it does have a happy ending. The world is a, a huge, fantastical, beautiful, mysterious, fun place. But it sucks if you're ugly. Tales from the...